All right, well, we got this cute little baby boy here, Baxter. Copper Spaniel mix is what I'm told. And mom was like, I want it cute but short. I don't want it shaved. I don't want this. I'm not sure. And so I was like, well, tell me clearly, like I, facts. Half off the body, things like that. And he is a little nervous, but he did good last time. Um, we did, okay, we did sh D shed for a minute. So I was like, you gotta ask these questions. Like, well, what? She goes, I want him cute, but I don't want the ears long. And I'm like, well, what is cute? What define cute to me? Define cute to me. Define not shaved down. I said, just picture everything as being a shave down. Let's just say everything we do is a shave down. It's just different lengths. So she goes at the end, she's like, just do whatever you think, Dee Dee. <laughs> So we're gonna play around with this. It's gonna be a hot summer anyway. So let's just have some fun with it, right? So I'm gonna take all this short. Mom doesn't want all this. So I'm gonna take this down like I like Duke's ears. So we'll do Duke's ears on you. Why don't we just start with the ears? So a lady was like, why don't you just do the faces first, Dee Dee? Okay, let's just do the face first today. He doesn't really have a face like a Shih Tzu to do like that, but she did. The lady called me three times in a row, and she gave me. A, she works at. She rescues or helps shelter dogs, something like that. I didn't catch all of it, but and obviously we're gonna come clean this up. But this or that, this or that, right? Mom says this is getting in all his stuff, so it's cute, long, but she doesn't want it long. So right now, we'll just get this out of the way. I don't know why I didn't eat breakfast today, though. I'm hungry. It's going to be a long day. So it's really hard. The hair is already short. It's really hard to do, you know. We're already short, you guys. This is actually a short. This is short to me. So now we want to go shorter. I actually don't love the guard because it leaves it kind of choppy, but I am going to do a four guard reverse. Let's try this. Actually, let's do a two guard reverse on a 10. Test it back here first. Still short there, man. Let's just do two guard down. Let's see what happens. Not enough to um, four guard down. So the hair is so thick. The guard thing, I just don't like it because now it leaves it a little choppy. So when you do reverse, it actually, I don't know, it does change it. Does change it. So I'm going to do, and I'm going to go down to a 10 with the one guard reverse. And so today we have a one of our uh, a student coming in, and I say student, but at the end of the day I am uh, just doing training with her. It's a, this working training. She wants to learn how to do some grooming. She's having issues with the faces on dogs that she's grooming. She wants to be able to know some safety spots. So she's flying in from Utah. Her name is Leanne. I'm not sure if we'll record everything, but I just wanted to let you all know if you have the same situation, you don't know where to go. Uh, you can go to myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop in the business services section and look at the type of classes or training sessions. I, I shouldn't call them classes, but the, like on-hand experience training. Does that make sense? Um, and maybe it'll fit, for, fit good for you. Something that you can do. Something you can get hands-on doing something. In my opinion, you should, go, you should already have some kind of training you should have already tried to kind of, this is to, to um, this is not working for me. I'm not loving this. I'm actually going to do a four guard reverse. Check this out. I'm going to go back to that, where I was at. Okay, so where's my dog upstairs? Because you can see me holding him up and I'm just not even thinking about what I need to do here. My whole hand is sitting here holding him up, slowing me down slowing myself down at this point. I have these straps. I don't like them. I'm going to take them off. I don't need the straps. To, I have the dog up stand in, in and out of there. So 
It's not my favorite thing. They're actually in my way. They seem to be more in my way. So we're gonna do a four guard reverse. The hair is just really thick. No, no, don't look at me like that. You don't like it? A lot of brushing needed, so we'll do a, this will be a short haircut, but just not a shave down, like a seven. Not a seven shave down, right? So Leanne, we'll see if she wants to let us record a little bit. Uh, she'll be in training today, working with me. I keep saying that, but it's like on hands training. Yeah, Leanne already texted me. She has landed and she's here and she's on her way now. I will come down and do the seven on the legs here though. That'll, that'll make sense to me instead of spending time hand scissoring. You have to go up and down depending on, like, sometimes the hair just is laying a different way. Get it through your guard there. Try it downwards and then we'll come back clean it up like that. not sure on the guards you just got here please go watch the guard videos I think there's two or three of them if you order guards please make sure you don't break them the first time you try to put them on so make sure you go watch the guard video again how to put the blade on the clipper how to put the guard on the clipper that type of thing make sure you know how to work these guards Leanne is just coming in for the day, so she's going to have a very long day. She's going to cram what she can cram and fly out this evening. So she got her day started pretty early out of uh, Utah. I am sporting Diane. Diane's jewelry so if you want some please let me know Diane is about to have some eye surgery so please pray for her she hasn't been on my YouTube she, uh, she's getting ready for that surgery if 
you want some of her jewelry, please let me know. Um, I've got to still get it online. So I'm going to come down with my seven on the legs anyway, so don't spend too much time here. Man, that dog up in. holding him up the whole time, isn't it? Love it. You can buy these at dogupsand.com. We're doing our next print, so they're on back order, but you can at least get your order in so you know you get one when, they, when they're back in stock. We have to make, uh, we want to make them. I'm challenged to uh, make sure I get them. I want to make them in the United States. So supporting me supports the uh, Americans making the product. And I challenge you to always buy uh, locally if you can first, or buy someone you're supporting. Buy from a business that you're supporting. Otherwise, like I always talk about the restaurants, you know. We don't uh, go eat at our favorite restaurants. That day that they closed down, you kind of got to wonder, like, oh man, should have made it out here more. Okay, let's see here. I did that once and I won't do it again. There was this uh, restaurant, one of my favorite restaurants, and she closed down. I had no idea she had closed down. I show back up and I'm like, oh my gosh, where are they, man? I was going there for oh, at least five years or more. It was sad to me, and I was like, man, you gotta support the places you love. Because one day when they're gone, they're gone. They could be gone forever. They didn't make it, you know what I mean? We can only make it if people are supporting us. So that's the only way small business is gonna make it. telling you guys about. We do have some lines in there. We're going to clean them up after the bath. Thin hair, real thin hair does that. So we've got some stuff here. I'm sorry, what is this? So if a dog's sitting on your hands, um, this is, this will really help. Okay, sitting on my wrist over, over time, that's going to hurt this wrist, even though it doesn't do a lot of work. The weight of... Uh, the dog sitting on my wrist. So get that dog up stand under there. The neighbor's music, man, I tell you what. It just sounds like thumping on the wall. You get off of that stand already? Hmm? It's gonna help you. Here, come here. It's gonna give you some support while I do your nail trim here.
Come on now. Come on, focus here. Focus, 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 focus. Nothing's happening. No, stop, stop, stop. Messy. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Let me see. Let me see. back after the bath. You, yeah, you can step back and just watch and listen on this one. Okay. And then we have other ones that... So Leanne is here. She doesn't want to be in the video, but she's going to be. She's in training, so let me gather my thoughts. Okay. So everything came out a little choppy, and we'll, we'll talk more after he goes. I think I have a minute to talk to you so we can do like a check-in. So I'm going to clean this up with them. I'm going to go four... We did four guard reverse. Now we're going to come back, and I'm going to see if I can just clean this up with a four guard down. If not, we'll change it up a little bit. There's gonna be areas I need to kind of fix up. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna continue with our four guard reverse to kind of clean out all these lines up. It's almost like a seven down, just not quite. And with the guards, with the fine hair, you're still gonna have some lines, and in about one day, they're actually gonna go away because the, the hair grows out just a tad and evens everything up. questions. Do you have any um, kind of tell me what we're focusing on? What I need to really make sure you know today by the end of by the end of your work. Ears. How to Ears. clean them or how to? How to pluck them and okay. kind of I kind of watched yesterday a really good with the cotton balls and the ear wash and I bought all that from you. Okay. Um, so just knowing the ears and uh, the nails you're going to get some tips on nails, but unfortunately I don't do nail trimming video. I don't do nail trimming training without booking that. That's a really expensive class. Okay. That, I mean, I just want to basic, the basics. Okay. Yeah. I think that class is over a thousand because of the technique I use. I don't try to train everybody until they've paid for that class. That's a really different class. Huh. Cause you can't get the kind of training that I've learned how to do nails anywhere. But I can give you at least some tips to go off of. What else? Um, I thought it was some face face trimming or. Well, yeah, but I just I just want to kind of get. I want to know because I I watched so many videos, and you always start off with a ten guard, correct? So if there's I mean, not a ten blade. You got it. There you go. So I, it depends. I actually start off usually with what's on my clipper because of the time. Okay. So if I if I stopped here and I have a forty on there, when I go to the dog, I usually go forty blades on the pads and start there. You know, whatever I left off on on the last dog is usually where I start on the new dog. Okay. So like my little Shih Tzu, he's got the the smooshed up nose. Okay. So I just kind of want to, I want a heads up, I want to watch you when you, you know, the way you take that thing in between their toes and in their nose and... Okay. So... Scooping around and taking out the face? Yeah. Okay. I just want to feel comfortable like how you're just kind of going, when do I need the garden, when do I not? Okay. And is, without the guard, is it safe to do like the little boy area and... I mean, I just don't want to hurt him. Any of them. 
I know I can, I'm going to be so slow. I'm only going to get maybe one or two grooms a day, if that, for a while. Right. And then it will, that will give me enough time to, and I, there's enough of your videos that <laughs> my big dog comes in and watches them too. He's so funny. That's he funny. just Aww. loves to watch the other dog. So we, we have a good time watching these. So. <laughs> I just talked to a lady today and she emailed me and she says, I have your videos playing in my salon in the background all day. <laughs> Aww. And I was like, that is so awesome. <laughs> now, doesn't a dog like this get fur shot? Say that again? Fur shot. I had a, a cattle dog and I'd shave him because he panded. Mm -hmm. And then he'd get fur shot. And Which means it doesn't grow back the same. Yeah. Absolutely. That may, be a, that may be a risk. That may be a risk in every shave down that you do or every haircut. Okay. Uh, depending on the breed and that animal and that animal's genes. That's my opinion. Okay. Um, we're going to do... I ne hardly ever use a five or four, four blade, but I'm going to come with my five and come straight down this way. This is a five blade. Okay. See, and when we have time to read, I want to just kind of... I mean, Go don't, over. doesn't anybody sell um, one of those sheets of fur and it has the different... You can thing. get, uh, I believe you can get that at the fabric store. And then I just do it. Do a 10. Okay. Do, do a 10 and a 7 down and a 5 down and a 4 down. That's what they had were at the big box stores, okay? Yeah. A little patch. Yeah. Get the fake fur. Okay. That's right? what I'm going to do. And, and check your clearance sections, okay, in the, those uh, fabric places. Okay, yeah, because my daughter goes... Oh, because he says it's sometimes it's easier. You, you go in there and you say, "Oh, I'm you just show one number five. This is a seven here. This is what's going to be left or whatnot. Yep. Okay. So basically, what you're going to do is just I just want to feel comfortable when I go home. I can do this. I want you. I would hope so. Yes. You came out here. You paid for the class. You know, the, working with me. I want you to have hands on. So we're gonna do some things together. Uh, we're gonna cover a little bit of like safety, the different areas I want you to be afraid, uh, aware of, uh, and nicking the dog, most common nicking areas. Okay. okay. Um, a little bit about your clippers probably, in case you run into some troubleshooting things that you need to look at your like, oh my gosh, this is not working, why? Um, now do you have a backup clippers or just black? Absolutely, up? it's hanging right there. So I should buy another Andes, huh? I would recommend you buy another Andes. And you may go, uh, you may do, we're going to start carrying some other Andes, but not yet. Andes, that's how you say uh, it. Okay. That's how I say it. I'm, I don't know. I don't know the owners. <laughs> but Andes, you know, is how I say it. Okay, okay, so. So see, I've got my seven here, and I'm not digging hard, okay? I'm not even hardly touching the skin. And you probably wouldn't use a seven in those areas, but... I've just been doing it a long time, so if I have a seven, I kind of see something, I go and just take it. But in those safety areas, you're going to come and change your tent. Okay. So and that's one thing I today before we leave. There's a I wanted because I know you had a video where you have you sell your other ones that are sharpened. Say that again. Your blades. Uh -huh. What about them? Yeah. Do you still have? extras that you said you sell? Mm, I'm pretty low. Okay. I'm pretty low. I knew you would because I was they were, an as soon video. as that I started saying that I can pretty much say that they're pretty they're pretty low. Um, I will sell some used ones but if you're gonna buy a used one I would and I only have a few that are probably need sharpening you know um, I'd rather you just get a, a, a new one. Right. So we can do that uh, too. Do you get me ready just to send it have an order ship so that I have it because I I started, Eddie's my dog's name, so I started him the other day because I just ran down. I hadn't got mine. So you see I'm using a 10, right? You're, okay, just making sure you're kind of... You know, okay, right yeah. And uh, it, it was terrible, so I took him back. What was terrible? The clippers that I bought from yeah. the Where'd you supply get store. Sally's. Okay, okay. I had a peanut with but it. But it could have been... That's... Uh, Sally's is really designed for humans. Yeah, that's what I think um, it was because it didn't hardly take anything off of him. So. Yeah, and if you don't have the right stuff, uh, even some of these, no offense on Walmart, but 
Uh, I don't wouldn't buy my clippers at Walmart. Yeah. There's some things I probably would buy at Walmart, but my my clippers, no. Uh, they're not going to last. And the reason I can say that is I've replaced a lot of Walmart, unfortunately. Sorry, Walmart. Um, I've replaced a lot of uh, not Anna's uh, walls that Walmart sold because yeah. they just. I hear it all the time. I used it for like an hour and it's stuck now. It won't even you know. How can you spend? Well, you get what you pay for. So some of those at and or some of those at Walmart are really cheap. So you can't, unfortunately, I don't think you can do a really good groom on it with the cheap some cheap tools. It's not going to happen. Okay, on this side, I'm going to have you step up with, uh, with the dog. I'm going to actually have you ferminate this side with me. Okay. On this side, Leanne. That way your back is kind of toward the camera anyway. So you're going to stand here, and you're going to lightly, I really want you being really, I barely am holding it. Okay, so you're really going to lightly just ferminate a little bit here. Okay. Oh, I have that on my list for today. Nope, not really. And so, let me see here. He likes to sit down. I'm going to put this up here. You're going to have, yep, do two hands, make that kind of taut there, and you're just going to real lightly, because if you try yourself, if you go too hard, yeah, okay, yeah. and you do it a lot, okay, I can easily burn myself. So, so what is this doing? This is, a, he's a shedder. His mix is, a, he's got Copper Spaniel mix, and his hair, before he, we uh, did a haircut, was flying everywhere on the bench. So if he's shedding, we're going to actually pull some of the dead hair out here, and the thing about the ferminator is it doesn't just pull dead hair out. So you don't want to do too much rigorously. You only want to use it about once a month. We're going to help kind of even out some of these lines from the guard. So yeah, look at all that. Is, yeah. uh, and we're pulling out some of these dead hairs, okay? Wow. Especially be gentle around the neck so I and the high knee here. And if you're working with sometimes, you know, a, a boxer's hair, is, it seems like it's about that thick, boxer. Uh, are you gonna do big dogs? Yeah. So I'm hold your tool like this. I'm hoping I get more de shedders than. Uh, so this hand. Are you left? Are you right handed? Okay, this right. hand. Are you right handed or left handed? I'm I'm right. Right handed. Okay, so hold your tool like this. Okay. Almost kind of like a. So no, but you're holding it. Are you holding it the same way? It looks the same. Okay. Okay. Great. <laughs> I'm sitting here like she's not holding it. I'm looking in the opposite direction. I'm like she's not holding it the right way. Just I don't want you to hurt your hand. I be very aware of how your wrist, wrist is turning and how you're placing your hand and your wrist, okay? Yeah, I see it's even in there. It's getting the... Yeah, see, there's quite a bit of just, just undercoat that needs to come out, just a tad. Okay, that's good enough. All right, we're we'll coming through. Let's see if I know checks this area here. I know you don't want to stand on this thing, man. Who's doing it to you? Who's doing that, man? So I'm just going to put this over here like this, and I'm just telling you, man, I do not need this strap on here. But I'll just you do that. So you see what happens. We're going to see what happens. I don't really use the strap. Okay, so now I'm going to have you, I'm going to do some leave-in conditioner, just a tad, a little bit on my hand, on this coat here. And you're going to come through and do, I want you to brush from the base all the way down. Make sure you brush every little tangle out. Don't do it too hard. You don't want the bristles to really poke the tail a lot. I'm just going to touch up the foreguard around this face here, kind of rounding it down. See, I watched the pit bull yesterday too. Yeah, he was so sweet, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. So mom said on the pit bull that he was, he's like, oh, he hates water. Okay, so that's where we went with that. But he did pretty good. I pretty, I was like, I can't tell he hates water. She goes, yeah, I know. What happened? Yeah, he seemed awesome about that. So did you see when I put on my mask, though, how he looked at my face with the <laughs> dog on it? <laughs> oh, the die for man. Die for. He's like, is that a dog on your face? Yeah, see, and that's where I got those um, those scrubby things. I was going to get a couple, two of them to take, to have smelled too. Because I have a big dog. I like mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. better. But, you, okay. have, you have a big dog, though. 
do. So now behind you is the comb. When you're done, check with the comb. Make sure you've got all the tangles out. So, what happened with the cat? Which one? You, were, you and him were driving. Oh, did you see the cat video? No, I shut it off because oh. I don't want to do cats, but I thought <laughs> I'm more worried about getting into... So dangerous, man. Ugh. Cats are so dangerous to groom. Um, but you didn't look like you had anything behind you. Just that you guys were in a car. So oh, I'm we were. So I kind of did an intro uh, telling everyone about how the pet parent found us <laughs> first. <laughs> trying to sit off See, this is what happens with the strap, man. It, it, and if you're doing this at home, this is great. If you're doing a couple dogs a day like she will be, maybe that's fine. But the strap for me, the dog will take the stand with it. This is why I don't need a strap. Because I am in and out of there pretty quickly. Yeah. Right. yeah. Just, just I don't know what you're trying to do here, buddy. Okay, he's you're embarrassing me already. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Do some kisses. Yeah, we got some more out of there. Huh? Cute boy. Let me see your paw here. Good. If anything, as long as I go home, it will make me feel happier than just coming here. You better learn some stuff. Oh, okay? uh, I'm, I'm already <laughs> learning. So. <laughs> okay. Let me see here. You happy? You happy? Yeah. I know. Is that not tight? No. Okay. <laughs> I just this strap, man. I'm telling you. I'm going to take this off. David, can you remove this strap for me? I'm, this is not helpful to me. <laughs> when you have time, please. Thanks. I appreciate you. Okay, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Good strap. The strap on the dog upstand. That thing is just in my way, man. Oh yeah, see that's another thing I want you to make me get about. Oh, you've already been busy. Yeah. Yeah, we're already been busy. Let me see where your tail's at here. Thank you. The comb went through. Nice. round that all up. If you haven't, I said it before, but if you haven't seen a dog poop, watch them. Yeah, I'm sure you have. You watch them poop and they're squatting in their tail. Just look at that and you'll know, okay, I need to hike that up a little bit right here where oh, it goes down, okay, right? Yeah. Where, where it's going to hang into the poop. And I took a dog poop to potty and I was like, well, hello, Dee Dee. You've got to get that shorter, man. So the, only, the only reason I kind of figured it out one day, I took him potty and I was like, oh, that's too long, you know? Yeah, because see, now my Shih Tzu, the groomer that was doing him, she just pulled it straight out and snipped it, but she didn't shave it a little bit so that... It doesn't hang into the poop. Yeah. Do you yeah, see what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, I started looking at... Which is fine, but you've got to tell somebody. Some people are not looking at that kind of stuff. But what were you saying? And and I looked in my dog's ears, and she was doing his ears. Mm. ears. Mm -hmm. So I peeked in my neighbor's dog's ears, and his aren't done either. Really? Yeah, I'm like, oh. Is that where you're like, hmm, I might yeah. do this by myself? Yeah. Really? And so I know when I get home, as soon as my scissors and that come from what we ordered mm -hmm. today, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to, I'm, it's going to be a slow process because Eddie's are really bad, but I don't want to hurt him, but. Do this. So you're going to do just a tiny bit mm -hmm. and then just go like this and then go down. down. Yep, just so a tiny bit. Line. Yep, yep. 
And put a little bit in that tail because it'll actually be pretty thick when you put it on. Put a little bit through the tail first and then really now get it all over the dog. It's so soft. Can you feel it? Isn't that feel? So I started implementing that. I haven't really pushed it, but it's so in the smell. What do you think? Yeah, it's nice. Isn't it nice? It's so, so one of my uh, top clients, I used it first. Uh, the Papillon lady, and she was like, "Oh, he's slippery smooth now, Dee Dee." So it's yeah, it's, it's, I like that's that. the oil on there, so it's really good. I don't good. think I did that. I think I no, nope, I didn't even. Put, I don't even think I put it on the website. My, it's on the website now, but I haven't been using it enough to say I would do this. Okay. Is that a? But yeah, it's, it's so great. Hi, hi. Is that put like a on. bug collar? Yeah, I think that's their bug collar. I know, right here, right here. Yeah. All right, uh, we're gonna go. Wait, we're gonna go wait for mom, okay? All right, thanks for watching, Didi Croy, my favorite girl. We'll see you later.